All of my honeybees died. Oh my God. I worked hard to keep them alive and they died. Okay, now that I've got your attention, this is what it looks like when you have a colony that gets too small for the temperatures. They have to be clustered. They can't move from the honey. When they eat all the honey in one area and they can't move any further, they starve. They go into the cells and they starve. Here's the rest of them. Here's the other half of the cluster right there. Okay, now that I have your attention, I lost one colony out of 93. The video yesterday explained what happened. They were inside, but they got cold inside. I work all winter long making stuff. Here is, here's 32 deeps right here, ready to be glued and screwed. And then I've got frames that I've made up over the years. I've got all kinds of deeps and supers. Do you really think that I want all of my honeybees to die? When I show you something else. I started the year 2021 realizing I had to have 100 hives for the mating nukes I was going to do in end of April, early May. And here are 41 deeps. I have to work really hard during the winter to make up for not making stuff during the summer. And also I have to maintain my colonies to keep an eye on them. Let me show you what I'm doing with those. Once a month I clean out the bottoms of my outdoor colonies. And this is what I got. Today's January 31st. This is about basically for a month of January how many dead bees came out. Which means to me, they don't have virosis. When you have virosis, you have large numbers of bees that die in the hive. Healthy bees, they don't want to die in a the hive. They'll fly out, see? They fly out and they land on the ground and they die. So if a nuke right now is ranging between $190 and $250, imagine how much these colonies here are worth. There's a lot of money sitting here. Why would you want to sit on your ass all winter long and do nothing? I bring all my colonies back to home so I can keep an eye on them during winter. And if they have issues, they end up in a warmer location. And there are 64 colonies in here. And say the smallest one is worth $100 ninety dollars or more two hundred fifty dollars for a winter nuke and these are going to be winter nukes some of these colonies are larger than nukes and they really need a cleansing fight they haven't been out majority all of them haven't been out since mid-december and i hate to see them like this but i just can't put them out and let them out they would end up on the ground I put in pollen patty yesterday, and the colony I lost, like the video I made yesterday, was right here, and it got too cold in here. It was really cold outside near zero, and this colony had issues. It had issues since October, so I did lose all my honeybees in that colony. So I went into from 93 to 92, and it really troubles me, but I was trying to go all winter without having any losses. That's a loss of money right there. And I could have split that one to two come April or May and doubled my money. But no, they died because for whatever reason they had issues. They got too small, they got cold, they starved, and they died. So that kind of woke me up and hopefully it won't happen again. I try to check them every day if I can. And the reason why they get cold is because of these blankets. I might have to come up with something a little better than this. So go online, look how much honeybees are this year, and you'll understand why I go to the trouble to keep mine alive, and why I'm able to double every year for the last three years. 
92 colonies right now, January 31st. I hope to have at least 80 or so by April. Hopefully more than that. And then I could double, if not more than double, my colonies in 2021. I don't buy honeybees. I don't buy packages, nukes, or queens. Queens are $40. Nukes are $190 to $250. Packages $140 to $165, $170. It's just ridiculous. You guys ought to pay more attention to your bees. I don't wrap my bees. I keep an eye on them all winter long. If you wrap your colony, you can't check the hive anywhere up and down between the deeps and the supers. Okay? Thank you.